Of course, elbow's not permitted under K1 rules. Bardo goes to the body, Iggy ties him up, and it's Bardo who gets the takedown, interestingly. Just a show of strength in the clinch. Bardo himself, a former Muay Thai fighter. Ignashov is very loose on that lead leg. He'll bounce up and down the balls of his feet. So he can do that. Throw the inside thigh kick. You see he stepped off to his right, Bardo cut off the ring, and then he just went for a little bit of a run. Reset himself. He threw a nice body shot there uh, with a with a with a back leg. I like the control we're seeing here from Bada Harris. He tags him with a left hand, and again Iggy uses some footwork to get out of dodge. A little Half a down. Little rope dope action there. Iggy trying to pull the head down. Bada still showing more control than an episode of Get Smart with one minute twenty remaining here in the second. I wonder what may have been in the final of the Grand Prix last December had Butter shown this control against Semi Shield. Well, but Semi Shield was a lot more active than Ignashov is here. You know, Ignashov is obviously trying to counter off Butter's punches, but so far he's proven to get him 10 9 down, and he's probably 10 9 down in this round as well. And the thing is that Mike Pasanier has schooled up Bada on the counter fighting abilities of Alexei Ignashov. That's why Bada is a little reluctant to continually come in. Oh, Ignashov gets tagged in the red corner, and that is a rare sight indeed. Ignashov dropped here in the second round. Half a minute remaining. First knockdown of the fight goes to Bada Hari. And look at Bada's guard glued to his forehead. Ignashov's going to get a move on here. He can no longer afford to play a counter attacking game. It's time for Iggy to go on the offense. If he wants to win this fight, yes. He has one, he has one round to, do, to basically knock out Bada Hari, or he's going to lose this fight. Front kick, I'll taste my feet, says Bada Hari. Two rounds down, one remaining. That's Bada's round. Unfortunately, Mike, we are seeing what we have seen from Iggy time and time again in recent years, just not doing anything. Promising so much coming in, not delivering. Giving up, giving up. You can tell. I, just I, would, I wouldn't say giving up, just not doing anything, Mike. Not doing enough, not putting the foot down and saying, hey, I'm going to take this one by the nads and go for it. Well, that's giving up. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, you can name it whatever you want, but if a fighter knows that he's down and he's not putting any efforts to try and advance and win the fight, then he's given up on it. The only way that Ignashov can win this now is to knock Kill. out Hurry. It is 2017 on all three judges' scorecards. If Hari is going to lose this, it will be his own undoing by getting over-eager and trying to finish the fight. Right, I mean, all Bada has to do is just continue doing what he did in round one and two. It's a perfect formula. It's working beautifully for him. You know, uh, so yeah, you're right. Unless he does anything other than what he's been doing, he should just cruise right into a victory. Now it is time for Ignashov to be put to the test. Once the most feared fighter in the Muay Thai heavyweight division. Once a true wrecking ball of K1. He begged K1 for a return to the Major League. His wish has been granted here tonight. And so far, he has not capitalized. Front kick from Hari drives the foot into the midsection and puts Iggy on his backside. The timing of Hari is sweet tonight. Ignashov on the outside here. But still wanting Hari to come to him. Hurry doesn't continue forward, he stops and resets. Smart tactics here from Bada Hurry. And very composed. I mean, we're, we're, we're halfway through the third round, and Bada has yet to, you know, do what he wants to do and he just go balls to the wall and try to knock him out. You're right. He, he, he attacks, stops, resets, starts again. 
the smartest fights we've seen from Guadalajara. Now time is really the enemy of Alexei Ignashov. Ignashov sitting back here. He's got to throw down. Leads out with the right hand, but no follow through. Where are the leg kicks from Ignashov? It's up to Ignashov to turn this fight into a brawl and, and try to draw out Badahari and start to brawl with him because if he just does this, then he's going to lose this fight. You see the chopping leg kick from Ignashov. Only gets tagged with a right hand and Bada goes for a high right round kick and Iggy just picks him off with a well timed front kick. 40 seconds remaining for Ignashov to do something here. He's got to swing the pendulum. Front kick from Hari, off the back leg. Now 25 seconds remaining. We haven't seen Ignashov use a step through right hand. We haven't seen him go for the fake, light, uh, fake low right round kick and then a right hand switch right uppercut. I guess when Butter told you he's got a few, few tricks up Look at this, no, look at this. Ignashov saying to Butter, come on man, come forward. But Ignashov's the one that should have come forward. Well, he just wanted to play a counter-attacking game, and smartly, Badahari did not engage. And maybe that's the trick up in his sleeve that he was talking about, and that's the most composed we've seen Butter in probably the last six or seven of his fights. Up absolutely 100% composed. Badahari refused to engage in a counter-fighting game. He did not allow Ignashov to work his counter-fighting, he outbeat and outfought Ignashov. And really, Ignashov's only game plan, Mike, he was relying on Bada's trademark oh, ferocity. And that's what Bada did not do, and that's why he came unstuck. 30-26, first judge for Hari. Second judge, 30-26. Third judge, 30-26. All one-way traffic. And at the end of the day, Bada Hari makes it look terribly easy. He took Alexei out of his comfort zone. He'd studied the footage of Alexei. He knew that Alexei is a supreme counter fighter, so he did not go bananas on him. He did not open up like a house of fire like we usually see from Badahari. Very, very smart play for Badahari. I mean, just beautifully executed technique to the T. And Mike, the question that really does big here and confounds me. Does Alexei Ignashov have any form of offensive game? I don't think we saw him go on the offense once throughout that entire fight. No, he didn't. And like, like I said, because most likely, as you stated, his game plan was, okay, let's draw butter into a into a brawl and then use the counter and try to expose that chin that some some fighters have been able to expose and you saw that frustration in the final 20 seconds you saw it you saw alexei scream come on and yeah. barter smiled at him yeah. and said no son